While the diner was going on, you along with other waitresses were making sure that the guests don't have to wait for anything. You were serving the beverages and most of the customers here were VIPs who are the owners of different multi-million or billions. The melody of soft music was flowing making the atmosphere so lively. Wayan, see there. She said nudging your elbow making you look at her. What are you trying to show me? You try to look in the direction. She was gesturing because obviously she can't point out. At the corner table, that guy is again here and I have noticed him looking at you frequently. You finally took a look at the guy and coincidentally he was looking in your direction but you quickly turn your face to the other side. Why are you noticing him? Because he is so handsome and I think he likes you. Are you out of your mind? Do you even know who is he is? She looked at you making a disgusting face. Do you really believe that he is an underworld mafia? Just look at him, he looks so nice. Don't judge anyone by their face. Some innocent face sometimes hides the darkest secrets. Suddenly a customer called you and you went to serve him the drinks. Minnie sighed and looked in the direction but her breath hitched as she turned to the other side after being caught. I think she was right. I shouldn't look at him. Jungkook's POV It's the fifth day and I'm still here on this stupid cruise. I can't believe I wasted my five days when I was supposed to leave on the day I came here but how? My mission was to kill this girl but she took my heart. The very first time I saw her, no one ever made me feel the way she did. I can't believe I fell in love. Yes, it's love because no one ever hold me back to complete my mission. But I gave up on this one the moment I saw her. I only have a few interactions with her and whenever she comes near me, I think she hesitates or get nervous. Is that because of how I look or she's scared? I don't know but now I think I won't be able to leave until I tell her. I noticed her friend telling her something and she looked at me. I felt my heart skipping a beat but she immediately turned to the other side and that a man called her. Why do I feel bad about it? Let's see what's going to happen. Jungkook is an underworld mafia and someone asked him to kill you in exchange for a tremendous amount of money. You are a daughter of a retired police officer and your father has a lots of enemies who try to bring him down. After finishing up all the work, you came to this area where there was no one and is peaceful actually. Sipping on your orange juice, you were looking at the beautiful orange sky. This is your life now. You decided to support your father and it was also your dream to work on a cruise ship. Life here is not easy. Away from family and being a waitress is not easy task. But you try to love your job each and every day. Suddenly you remember the face of that guy. You now know his name. You find it a little creepy that he look at you and after Minnie said that she thinks he likes you, you also started to notice him. There is no doubt he is so handsome but you feel a little creeped around him. Maybe because you found out that he is a mafia boss and being a daughter of a former police officer, you know what kind of people they are. As you were lost in your thoughts, you felt a presence near you. A man came in front of you. He was a guest of this cruise, but the way he was looking at you, you understood his intentions were not good. Do you need anything, sir? He smirked and was stepping closer to you, making you walk backwards as he wasn't stopping. I would love it if you give me some room service for tonight. You know what I mean and don't worry, I'll pay you well. Your blood boiled hearing that. What the hell are you saying? Oh come on, don't be shy. I've never seen a beauty like you in my whole life. You don't look good working as a waitress. He forcefully grabbed your hand. Leave my hand. Yeah. He raised his brow. Your attitude is also killer just like your body and I can't wait to see you in bed. Before he finishes, 
He was being dragged backward by his head and hissed in pain. Who the hell is that? You're dead and now I can't wait to see you in hell. Are you excited for that? He pulled his hair back more making him groan. You were standing there scared because that man must have done something to you but luckily Junko came there. Leave my hair. As you wish, a scream left from your mouth and you covered it when he threw the man in the sea. He turned towards you. Don't feel bad about him. He deserves that. And he left from there while the alarm started to ring. The crew members got alert and soon everyone got to know that the man drowned in the water. You didn't tell anything to anyone. Soon he got rescued by the divers that were in the cruise. After that incident, you really got traumatized for a few hours. Don't know what to say because Jungkook saved you but you also saw the dark side of him. But one strange thing happened and that is you never saw him after that and don't know why you kind of started to miss him. You even searched for him on the whole cruise but didn't find him. That was the time you really made a wish to see him again. Even you don't know why that happened and why you started to feel the urge to see him again but he disappeared. Two months later, you were going towards your hotel room. Two months have passed and now you are on a leave for two months that you want to enjoy by yourself. You came to Paris to enjoy your vacations. You still think about Jungkook and although you never had a word with him, you feel like you miss someone you know from ages. You were walking in the hallway when suddenly you bumped into someone. Ouch, I'm sorry. You turned towards the person and you weren't able to say anything. He was in a mask but still you felt familiar. He was also looking at you the same way. I'm sorry. You recognized his voice very well but most importantly his eyes. J Jungkook? His brows raised high and by looking at his eyes you knew he was smiling when you called his name. He took off his mask and your heart skipped a beat. Yes, and surprisingly you remember my name. Your cheeks turned pink a little bit as you felt shy. Uh, I just... You started to stammer making him chuckle. I was just kidding. I know I'm not easy to forget. The way he was talking, you find yourself thinking differently of him. By the way, what are you doing here? You left the job? Well, that's good. No, I didn't. I'm on vacation. Oh, vacation in Paris? Alone? You hesitantly nodded. Yes, but are you? You were about to ask him what he is doing here or is he stalking you all the way here but you thought it would be rude to ask so you stopped but he raised his brow. Do you want to ask if I'm stalking you? You looked at him surprised. I mean, no. It can be a coincidence. I'm sorry if you felt that way. He smiled. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. By the way, if you are free then, can we go for a coffee? Your heart again skipped a beat but now you are comfortable with him which was strange. Sure. He smiled. Let's go then. So, why alone in Paris? I mean your friends? Actually, they all have different plans and I really wanted to take some time alone for myself. You know, a solo trip? He smiled and nodded. And your parents? Do they live in Korea? You looked at him surprised because how did he know, find out that you are Korean? But then he seems to understand your thoughts. I see a full name on your uniform nameplate. It was Kim Vyan So, Oh, well, yes, they live in Korea. Although you were still a little suspicious but you decided to let it go but still careful around. You must visit them too. 
I do but not much as my father has a lot of enemies and he tells me to stay away as much as possible. He was taking a sip of his coffee when he looked at you. Oh, so you have enemies around you, huh? You shrugged your shoulders. I don't know, but can I ask you something? Sure, anything. After a short pause, you spoke. Is it true that you are a mafia? The second he looked at you, you felt a li little bit nervous. Well, yes, it's true, but you don't have to worry about it. I don't kill people randomly. I saw that. You said with a soft chuckle. If you are talking about that bastard, then he deserved it. I would have killed him if he went too far. I don't know how you handled that, but I can't tolerate any trash around you. Your heart skipped a beat and smile dropped. You gulped and looked at him. Why in? I want to tell you that I like you. I know this confession must be a little surprising for you, but I just want to clear myself so from the next time if we meet, you won't feel like I'm stalking you. It means you came all the way to Paris because of me. He didn't say anything and took a sip of his coffee. Your cheeks were pink and you were really surprised by this man. Oh God, you are seriously so unbelievable. You sat chuckling softly. You can say that. The real reason he was here is because he got to know that the man who asked him to kill you sent his men to Paris to kidnap you because Jungkook refused to do this work and now he's protecting you from the very first day you landed in Paris. I'm so sorry but I can't say the same because I can't trust anyone so easily. Don't worry, you have your time. I'm fine with anything. Although your heart was ready to accept his confession but you know it's weak and you have to make sure you are not falling in a trap although it doesn't seem one but still. Jungkook was sipping the coffee when his eyes fell on something or you can say a group of men. He quickly recognized them and he knew that they were here for you but when they saw him with you they changed their plan and because he was alone as well they formed in two groups to attack. Let's go from here. He suddenly got up making you confused. Why? I mean, did something happen? He grabbed your hand. I'll tell you everything later. But where are we going? You said looking around but didn't see anything strange. Suddenly you saw a group of gangsters looking man coming behind you. You walked away with Jungkook feeling scared. Oh no, are they after you? No, they are after you. You mean they are here to kill me? But I don't even know them. I never did anything wrong to anyone. He looked at you. I never expected you to be this innocent. Anyways, we can't create a drama here, so let's trick them. They are too many and it's impossible to fight them. But you are a mafia, right? How can you run li away like this? You should be supposed to beat them up alone. He turned in a hallway. That only happens in movies and not in real life. So real life mafias are not that strong? That's disappointing. He looked at you. What do you mean by disappointing? You shrugged your shoulders. Nothing. Oh no, I think they found us. Luckily, there was an unlocked room so Jungkook went inside with you. Is it okay to break inside someone's room like that? What if they come? He looked at you. Don't worry, it won't be for long. He peeked outside from the magnifying glass attached to the door. Did they see us? He looked at you. Stay here for some time and don't come out until I tell you. I'll be back in just 5 minutes. Are you planning to fight them alone? 
hey i was just kidding and you don't have to do that just wait here they will go he smiled and looked at you don't worry about me and enjoy the movie he opened the door and walked outside while you get scared for him in real please be careful You guys really don't let me live peacefully," he said, coming out while the man got alert. So you started to like this girl and now protecting her, huh? You betrayed our boss. Your boss is a freaking coward to use a girl to take revenge on her father. But you are right. I'm protecting her because I love her. You have any problem? And if yes, let's solve it. Don't speak too much. You are all alone today. You can't do anything. Jungkook smirked. Let's find out then. And he started to beat each and every man. They were probably questioning their life decisions, even think that they can harm Jungkook. Finally, after beating them so badly, he jerked his hands. Don't you ever show your face again and tell your boss that if you again send any man, my next target will be him. The man ran away, saving his life with others. The door opened and you came inside, all panicked. You quickly ran to him. Are you okay? Did you get hurt somewhere? He smiled seeing you worried about him. Yes, I did. You got a little confused because physically he wasn't really looking hurt from anywhere. Where? Tell me. He grabbed your hand gently and put it above his heart before coming a little closer to you. Here. Because you are still not giving me any attention, I know you asked for some time, but can't you take your time while we are still dating? It's been a long time since I have been after you. You lowered your hand and looked at him, but I don't know enough about you. Jungkook held your shoulders gently. You can trust. In fact, I'm ready to prove it to you. Ask me to do whatever you want to trust me. I'm ready. His eyes were showing genuineness and deep inside your heart was telling you that he's honest. Okay then, I will give you a chance and I wish I will never regret it. I will make sure you never. You smiled. Now I think we should go back to hotel. I mean, I will go to mine and you to yours. I'm also staying in the same hotel, the room next to you. You looked at him shocked with wide eyes while he smiled. What? Yeah, you're seriously unbelievable. Now I'm scared. Don't worry. You will love to believe everything. Just wait for some days. He held your hand and you both started walking.